Okay, true believers. Here we go. We've got a um, trackball extravaganza, pointy device extravaganza here today, plus a few more mice there. I think I've got another two or three mice upstairs somewhere. Yep, been kind of collecting here a bit, and I'm going to try and run through and tell you what's good and what's not. So let's get right into it. Because it pretty fast, so we try and jam it all in is really quick. You can stop where you want. So this is an Elcom MHT1 DRBK, but I just called it the Elcom Huge. I call it that because look at this box. This is a nice box. I think this is a nice box. I'm keeping this box because this tab right here doesn't look nice. That's what it looks like inside. Uh, very nice box. Huge. Comes as you see with the dongle approach. This doesn't have Bluetooth. The mouse, the trackball Ergo Logitech MX Ergo does. We'll come to that a bit in a moment. It's got both a mouse and a dongle. I've just got the dongle. I like dongles. You ask me why? Because when you want to start up a computer from scratch and the Bluetooth is turned on, or you want to do it in the BIOS, you want to select a hard drive or a different OS, who knows if that Bluetooth is going to work or be on. But your dongle, it just thinks the mouse is connected and it works. So it just works with this, it just works with that, it just works with that. So I would like Bluetooth, but not a game changer for me. It might be a few if it is. The Elcom does make another one. I believe it is. Um, there well they do I just can't see here right now anyway um, buttons they say it has eight buttons I believe eight bendable mouse keys I love it that's the uh, translation I mean eight clickable not bendable um, so they have let's listen to these clicks one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would count ten personally. I think you can assign all of those pretty much as you wish. Let's put that back up there for you. Elcom huge. Of course, I clicked around there a bit. I've actually connected one, two, three, four mice to the computer today. So you can see how they all function for me, comparatively speaking. Um, I like this one because the ball is the largest of all of them, except for this one, but that ball went AWOL. I think we won't say exactly that, but I think it's around the house somewhere. Um, it's well built. The palm rest is nice and soft there, so you can just rest your palm there. That's pretty good. Um, look, there's some, that one's got a wire. This is the wireless version, of course. No wire here. That's the wire for my earphones. I'll just take that out. Um, so, yeah, it's a really nice mouse. And a few other little features here. It's got a switch here. You can change the DPI. Let's go forward there. I can't find back where that was. So this means I can go like this: slow, medium, super fast. So without going anywhere else, I can just click that there and change tasks. Now, one of the problems, and this is here is for transmissions, as I understand it, that's for a higher and lower transmission, and you can push the ball out. Um, just to show you, it coming out. There it is, very large ball, it's built nice and weighty. And if you notice, this one actually does fit in there. It runs super smooth. Look at that. It's a bit smaller than that one though, there's a bit of clearance. Haven't tried that, I don't really have time to try that right now. Um, nor do I really want to. I don't really like taking the ball out much. There was three little ruby points in there that you can't see, but there's two black. You wouldn't be able to see if I showed it to you. This is well made, it clicks well, but I'll show you one of the ergonomic problems. Look at this one here. This one actually went up in price. If I find that for you, that's the FX. Optical track name cordless, there it is there. Yeah, that's gone up quite a bit. Um, look at the ergonomics of this for a moment. You here can put your thumb from there to there without moving. Click, 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 it rests on that point for all of those buttons. And this has got a really good hit point. That's just one button, your left click, there's my hit, there's my main click. You can see how much I've used that and worn it all the way. This one, however, your thumb sits kind of down there. I mean, it kind of hits it, but then you've got to move up to there. That means for me, for my taste, it's resting too far down. I kind of see why they did it, because I want your thumb resting over there. But the solution was to put the scroll wheel here. Why they put the scroll wheel there, I don't know. I think they just probably thought it looked good from the art department. But yeah, look at that. It looks so cool. We'll go with that one. This one has a superior button out. Superior button layout. One, two, three, four. You don't have to move anywhere. You can get everything. This finger is ready to go for that. And you've got 
extra buttons there so and the hit point there is much better so this is a better button layer i have to say however this is a large ball so i like that this of course was the best because it kind of mixes that and that but it lacks a track wheel which is a problem but the thing that this does have is it had a you can hold it on both sides so whether you like the thumb you like the forefinger you can have both and you kind of operate in 3d it is fantastic but yeah the scroll wheel is a bit of a killer so I'm showing you all of these together so you get some of the comparative feel rather than just one at a time. Um, it takes two batteries on the bottom. The batteries never run out for me. Got that nice optimistic 80s to 90s huge script, which I like. Um, but it operates very well and very smoothly. The software, a little bit hard to use, a little bit hard to find from a Japanese site. I think this is a Japanese design um, trackball. But it is a nice product. They put a high-risk photo there. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'd rate this about 9 no, maybe 8.5 out of 10, I'd give this 8.5. Moving along now to the Logitech um, Ergo, MX Ergo. This has come down in price a bit recently. I'm not a big fan of the under the thumb one, just under the thumb. The reason is I think the bones and bones there will have a problem. You actually get a particular thing, uh, De Quervain's sinotendinitis. So basically, you can flame the tens along here if you overuse that. They reckon people using their phones like, although that's going to come back into fashion. Um, that particular problem. What this does have is got, let's count those buttons. One, two, three, four. That's kind of not a button. That just collects to two different computers. Five, five, six, seven. And it's got the feature here where you can roll the whole thing up and down like that, which is pretty cool. Battery has got a rechargeable battery, which is kind of cool. It lasts absolutely ages uh, give you a good look around all angles because don't you hate it when they just want you to show you something yeah i'm one of those people i don't take the plastic off i will okay let's do it let's do it Ooh, i really want to do this more look at that ah oh, i'm looking there's another layer will it rip the things i do Oh, pretty solid piece of um pretty solid piece of metal there it's almost like a throwing base plate and look at that shiny dun, 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 dun. mx ergo it's got this here that's to let it tilt so it's a little bit more horizontal so it kind of supinates the radius in the ulna the idea being when it's like that your radius in pronation your radius all across and say so you're more open to RSI or repetitive strain injury, that's supposed to be less, and it's going to go towards vertical. I'd like to go more than that actually, but that's as far as that goes. I can understand why. And I can always make that later. That's a kind of sort of grippy, grippy substance there. You can poke that through to get the um, the mouse ball out. I don't know why that's got a soft point there. I guess that's to fall onto here, just make a clicky sound. And soft point, yeah, yeah, I think that's to make it so it doesn't rock um, with a loud point and it just stays there. So there's that. Sorry, that way it goes. And it's got a little on-off button there, I believe. Yep. So, this has one thing that none of the others do. It can connect to two different devices. So it's got both Bluetooth and the unified Logitech system. I really like the unified Logitech dongle system. But I have to ask myself, Logitech, what were you thinking? I have these moments like, hey, Logitech, what are you? What were you thinking? Let's count them. One, two. One, two. But your unified system can handle three. Don't believe me? One, two, three. So you can build a system that can handle three different things. I know in your other mouse you do it for the three different things, but here you go, no, we'll just do two. We just don't use the third one. That is kind of annoying. That does annoy me. They're both well built. Um, I've got to say, this thing's like a crash hat. It's absolutely very well built. And this one also, this has been through the walls. This is really, really well built. Um, so I'd rate this uh, This software here is a kind of bloaty. Wasn't a fan of that bloatware so much. And um, I would rate this one about 8.5 out of 10. This would be about 7 out of 10. This would be about 9 out of 10. This would be about 8 out of 10. This one falls down because it's of a scroll wheel that's really annoying. But it's got the best ball system. In it. This one's the smoothest, I think. This one would probably be smooth, but it wasn't quite as old, and there's a few other issues. Not with that, just things I go, I won't go into. The perfect track ball, of course, would be this one combined with this one. So the large ball there, 
you've got the scroll wheel there, and you've got the flying scroll wheel in there, the button arrangement like that, and a few more buttons, and probably taking the Elcom's palm rest and putting it there. Then you would have the perfect trackball. Logitech, you hold the patterns. You can get yourself a 9.5 out of 10. This here has gone up in price. One of the few IT things that have gone up in price because they are so good. Fortunately, mine has one or two issues, not because of Logitech, but because of me. 289 US or 144 US, maybe get a second hand one. <sighs> but really, I'd probably go the Elcom would be my choice at the moment for the price and the features and the function. They could be improved, but it is nice to use. And of course, these are better than mice in my view. I mean, you just look at the size. A mouse, you're going to use that whole area and you're going to move the whole wrist. I've gone into this before. Um, all the functions are assignable in the Elcom. All the functions are assignable in the Logitech, as I understand it. Bloatware, a little bit hard to understand where, but it's sort of okay. This did work with my Mac, but I haven't tried the um, software on there yet. The actual software to assign the buttons. This, of course, works with my Mac and everything. Um, and if you've got any questions, put them in the items below, and I'll answer you in maybe another 12 years. But, yeah, there you go. I'm a happy customer for all of them.